okay uh, next uh, we're going to be talking about uh, what uh, things we can use uh, to make our you know uh, javascript uh, editing experience better so uh, so there's javascript uh, both that we use in browser and uh, the one that we use with node.js directly to run in our computer so uh, especially when you're using javascript for the browser uh, there isn't really uh, anything uh, i think very important extensions that you can use for the uh, front end so for example if i just search for javascript and sort by installs I think uh, most of the uh, top ones that uh, you would get, you know, ESLint is a uh, uh, linting extension. Uh, again, I'm not uh, delving too much deep into linting extensions because uh, uh, they are for formatting your code, uh, basically. And uh, you know, uh, those are kind of things that you use a little later on when you when you're through with basic development. So people who would be using uh, Lint or Prettier, they would already know how to use it and uh, there is ESLint, there is JSON, there is Prettier, people use different ones uh, according to their taste so you know none of them are uh, compulsory or something but uh, yeah so there is uh, Visual Studio uh, Intelli code which is a good extension to have it uh, will do your it will improve uh, the way the autocomplete works inside your uh, code okay that's something you can keep installed and apart from that you can also install uh, this extension called code runner so the code runner extension this is uh, specifically when you're using javascript uh, with node.js so if you're using node.js the code runner extension can help you run your code directly on your computer as you can see here right now there's no way to run this code directly on my computer i can run it inside a browser but there is like uh, editors like you know uh, uh, say JetBrains, uh, IntelliJ or Eclipse, uh, those kind of editors, they have a you know a run button or something here. So that does not exist in uh, VS Code by default, but you can install the Code Runner extension. And as soon as the Code Runner extension installed, you will see that there is the you know run button uh, here, which uh, will help you run this code. So now in this code, you can go and click on Run Code, and you know there we go, code has run, and uh, we have gotten our output. Okay. So uh, this would work only when uh, Node.js is already installed on your computer. So if you open the terminal and inside the terminal, if you uh, type node-v and you see that Node.js version is installed. Uh, so only if Node.js is installed. If uh, Node.js is uh, not already installed, you should uh, you know uh, go to nodejs.org slash download and uh, you know download, oh sorry, I think. Uh, yeah, uh, from here and go to downloads and you know download the latest version for your particular operating system for uh, windows mac or linux we just install it and once you have node.js installed uh, then after that you have to restart uh, uh, visual studio code if you have multiple windows open you have to close all of them and restart and make sure that node.js is in your path variable in windows or, or so so that when you type node uh, you know node.js can run if node.js works correctly then only code runner will work with your javascript files so in that case uh, they work uh, pretty good okay uh So when you do console.log, you know, you get like stuff like, you know, uh, if you uh, type, you know, console uh, and then a dot uh, log when you're doing, so it tells what methods are these. And, you know, you can click on this I button and you can get more information about this particular method. You can click on that uh, and it shows that what all parse stuff you can pass inside console.log. You can pass a message into console.log, message can be anything. So uh, you, you get really good, uh, you know, code completion and uh, support. So uh, control P is, uh, sorry uh, yeah control uh, plus p is what uh, gives you those uh, you know uh, expanded form where you can get to know more about this method and you can press uh, control or command on mac and click on that and you can get you know more information about that definition of that uh, method this is same for most languages as well control clicking on any method uh, takes you to the definition of that variable or the definition of that method uh, okay so, uh, so nothing really uh, important for uh, JavaScript that you uh, need to install uh, for this uh, purpose. Okay. Uh, apart from okay, there is a debugger for uh, Chrome as well, which you can install if you want to. Uh, so the Chrome debugger is something that uh, you know not very necessary. I think uh, if you want to just uh, debug lines of code here. Uh, I, I generally recommend that when your file is open inside your browser uh, right here you can just inspect you can go to uh, you know uh, debugger and uh, you can select your sorry I will have to just open my live server again and uh, 
inspect go to debugger and uh, you can select script and you can debug right inside your browser without any help from your id which is better because you should not rely on your id for debugging if the browser already has debugging in that case you would be able to use this method of debugging whether or not you use vs code or chrome or sublime text or you know atom or whatever place you are editing your code you can use this debugger so if i refresh my page you know yeah there's a breakpoint attached on my debugger and i can uh, see variables and everything and i can you know run my code from here so my debugger works if i just directly do it in my browser but if you want to be able to debug stuff uh, from within vs code then there is also an extension debugger for chrome and then uh, there is a you know uh, so i think a debugger for uh, Uh, there's a chrome debugger and a, a firefox uh, debugger as well so there's a debugger for uh, firefox available um, uh, let me just see and there's a debugger for firefox so you can install either the chrome debugger or the uh, firefox debugger and uh, in that case uh, you know you can attach uh, the breakpoints directly here like this okay uh, that uh, that would work uh, along with that but again my recommendation uh, don't do it with the id do it here itself uh, in that case you know uh, you are not dependent on the uh, id it works with every id which is a better practice as a developer cool